Many people seek love or to be in a relationship, but that involves growth, which can at times be painful, compromise, and vulnerability. Love demands that we constantly improve, be more understanding, and practice patience. On the flip side, it also means knowing when things just aren't working out anymore and having the guts to leave. Confused about how you feel? Here are six signs you were never in love. One, you move things fast with your partner. Infatuation thrives on speed, but love takes time to develop. Relationship expert Susan Winter says, infatuation lives in illusion. Love can survive reality. When you're quick to jump in a relationship with someone, you base it off of your dreams more than who's really in front of you. Common examples include fantasizing about your future with them, lusting after them, and obsessing about them, all done only after a few weeks of knowing them. Two, you expect them to be flawless, and then you get angry or disappointed when they show you their true colors. Do you believe in soulmates or fate? It sounds good in theory, right? But Winter states that infatuation needs perfection in order to survive. When you expect your partner to be consistently well-dressed, good with their words, or impressive with their accomplishments, you're not giving them space to be honest with you. Love, on the other hand, is grounded. When you love someone, you accept their imperfections, work through the bad, and enjoy the good together. Three, you're not comfortable enough around them. Okay, who hasn't felt self-conscious about saying the wrong thing or making a bad impression? But when you truly fall in love with someone, that's when you can let loose and stop caring so much. Dr. Brené Brown, research expert on vulnerability, discovered that those who have a strong sense of love and belonging are more open to vulnerability, whereas those who feel disconnected with their partners consistently build their walls up. When you don't share your emotions and struggles nor secrets with someone, you haven't fully loved. 4. You become more distant. It's normal for passion to intensify initially only to taper off into a steady relationship but two people in love will still want to be around each other frequently. If you find yourself wanting to get away from your partner more and more these days, canceling dinner plans often because you'd rather go hang out with your friends or family or cat, then something's up. Five, your mind is elsewhere, and soon your heart follows too. Stephen Betchen, author of Magnetic Partner, states that partners who are in love tend to maintain a focus on their counterparts. When you notice the little things about them or express concern when the two of you run into conflict, it shows that you care for them. But if you avoid those tough conversations or slip away from arguments, you also stop emphasizing their importance in your life. 6. You've developed anxiety. Have you been experiencing digestive problems or have trouble sleeping? Psychologists Kate Balistrieri and Dr. Anne Schieber both state that anxiety can show in these bodily dysfunctions. You might have something you need to get off your chest and dread how to break the news to your partner. Remember, you can only run away from the truth for so long before it catches up to you. Forcing love when it's absent will only hurt the two of you. Both of you deserve to find love elsewhere if it cannot be found in your relationship. Where do you think you stand on your feelings? To learn more about the signs you're falling in love, check out our video here. Thanks for watching! Hey guys, my name is Yumi and I am one of the partners of Psych2Go. Today I'm not only here to introduce myself, but to also introduce you guys to our amazing Psych2Go magazines. Don't they look wonderful? These magazines were all created by our amazing and talented magazine manager, E. Mogan. She put her all her time and hard work just to create this for you guys so everyone can have a little piece of Psych2Go wherever you guys are. So we are going to do a little giveaway right now. So we're gonna pick three winners. Um, there's no deadline to this at all. And all you gotta do is three little things, okay? Number one is to follow and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. Number two is either take a picture of, you know, this picture right here, a screenshot, or any picture of Psych2Go and hashtag Psych2Go on your um, social media, Instagram, Facebook, Tumblr, whatever it is. And number three, uh, we're gonna have a link down below of a really short questionnaire for us to connect with you and get to know you guys a little bit more, okay? But that's about it. Um, we wanna thank you for all your support through our amazing, amazing psychology company and we wouldn't be here without you guys. So thank you and thanks for tuning in, bye.